everyone, we are back here with game two of Ender vs. Pain. First game was actually held on Frost, there's a mistake, thought it was uh, Altazine there. So we'll kick this one off. Uh, round, game two of the round two match, best of three, Ender and Pain. Ender currently up 1-0. Indeed. With a very nice uh, Nidus play last game, wasn't spotted in time to be shut down by Pain. And uh, just a flood of units into his main just uh, ended the game right there for Pain. I think it was just the economy. He made so many units at the start and he just didn't power enough, I don't think, with his advantage of having that, yeah. many, that much stuff on the map. Indeed, he didn't, uh, didn't play to that all in just enough. But here we go. It is round two. We'll see what happens this time down here in the bottom right. Pink Zerg is, of course, end up playing for IPT. And RPR from TOT, it is Pain, the Blue Zerg. Is this tournament playing only old ladder maps? It's, this is nice, I like it. It is, it is. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. This is of course the uh, MSI Beat IT Region League. So, another really, really big map. Interesting, all the, uh, all the Zergs so far have been picking these... Uh, very large maps, sort of to try and get away with a fair bit. Ender again, yeah, I expect like some very pretty play. play. Yeah, this Ender yeah. again is going to get that perfect scout off with that Overlord, just sending it straight up in Pain's direction. Mm. Yeah, I'm expecting some very greedy play on this map, just because there's that natural at the back. It's not like it's susceptible to like run by, because he only has to defend like one ramp. I wouldn't be surprised if both players hatch first at, uh, on this map. So it's pretty slow. How many other people are playing in this tournament? Uh, quite a few actually. I think the first round one is actually a round of 64 or 32. Oh, cool. So yep, hatch first out of both players. Uh, Payne playing slightly more greedy than Ender. Um, Ender getting his down earlier. Uh, so we should see a spawning pool coming out. Yep, spawning pool out of Ender, and a spawning pool follow-up for Pain. Both of these players taking a spawning pool after Hatch, but it just seems that uh, Pain is just playing as slightly greedy about making sure he's on 16 before he builds it. Yep, and he's taking no gas, gas at as Ender. well. Pain going straight for that gas follow-up. Once he gets Speedlings out straight away, might be seeing Bailings again. Out of pain, maybe you can make a bit more use out of them this game. Yeah. Mm. So we'll see with that 100 gas. I really haven't seen enough ZVZ to be able to make any good calls. <laughs> <laughs> Still gas will set an ender. Yeah, he did this last game as well, so I think he just wants to uh, drone up, get some defensive lings out, and get those. Uh, that uh, six queens happening again, and uh, we go from there, really. Two links coming out now for both players, so these will just be scouting links, see if there's any shenaniganry going on. Uh, so we'll see from there. 100 gas has now been mined, so speed started, and he's still mining gas, so I'm reckoning we're going to see a Bane Nest go down again. They'll probably just be defensive Banes this time. Um, I don't expect him to try to go for a Bane Buster or any sort of thing on this sort of map, especially. Especially after seeing that he, um, Ender likes to open those six queens. Yep, and bust round two maybe. Ender high fives, uh, the other things, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. What's the economy looking at? Well, it's still pretty even, nothing too drastic has been changed up. No, um, Ender is still a little bit ahead, uh, macro wise, but, uh, there was the gas still being mined. Still stockpiling a lot of gas there, so he's still got 100 gas, so we'll probably see it now that the two scoutinglings are dead, whether or not he's going to open up into the Banes. Or Lair. Ah, uh, well, here we go. He started on the mass Zergling production. There goes the Baneling that's being dropped. It's a lot of lings coming out for Pain. He's going to want to do a lot of damage with this much... with it, cutting this many drones this early. And Ender's going to see it all, so he's got a spine already going down, he's got queens on the ramp. 
He's just droning up as much as he can before it happens. Dropped his Roach Warren, taking his double gas at his natural again, and he's just making sure he's staying up on it. If he has a decent economy, he's making another five drones. So after this, I'm expecting rounds of units. Seven more drones in production. More creep tumors. Four queens on the ramp. And he's just got a spine ready. It's a little far away, so he might have to uproot that. Still making more and more drones. Jeez. Yeah, just relying on those four queens to hold the line and the spine crawler to back them up there. Spine crawler's down. He's taking more gases. Still droning out. Pain's being he's gone crazy. Out pain, so he's going to try and bust that ramp and get in there. He's got 15 workers up on, so it has to be a lot of damage done. Uh, Roach is on the way now for Ender. Ender has got a lot of supply to work with. More, four more roaches on the way. Should see it. Hey, All see, of the queens coming back. Yep, going, going to the defense here. Oh, oh the injects! Oh, Jesus, not oh, a single one God. gets it! Oh, wow. Oh, that's gotta, that has gotta hurt. That was a lot of money to put into that. So, we'll see Ender take the lead just because he hasn't taken any econ damage. There's not enough damage from that, but he does have, doesn't have any map control, so he can't push out quite yet. So he's just going to keep making units at home, stay on two base. We'll probably see him jump up to lair and probably drop two evo chambers to get ready to push out and take a third. He Absolutely. just has so much room to move with that much eco. That, that was brilliant. Just all the bailings wasted on pr pretty much nothing. Those are uh, those clutch transfusers there, saving the ramp, saving the queens. Very nice. Yeah, so we see him, see him just making tons of roaches right now. And we'll see him probably move down to the bottom of his ramp and get ready to take his third. Um, Lair out of uh, pain at the moment, so he's rushing the tech, and he's also just dropped his Roach Warren, I think. Yeah, he did drop his Roach Warren, not going crazy. And a Lair coming out for uh, Ender, yeah. but he's up 40 supply at the moment, and well, he's, he's building a, he's a lot of speedlings. He's at the moment, he's uh, sending his Roach army across the map, couple just lingering behind between the Queens there. So Roach and Ling attack out of Ender here. He's just 20 more lings in production. He might, lings. he might just end it now if he's got the balls. He does have the balls though. Oh, absolutely. He's uh, Ling, moving in. Lings and roaches there. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming out. Those roaches do a lot of damage. Oh, if he blocks the ramp, where well, those lings can't get the surround. So we got banes. If he gets rid of those banes, if he gets oh. rid of those banes, yes, all of the banes are dead. Now it's just Ling and Roach, and that's a lot of units. All of the Lings are dead, and we're going to see him start sniping queens to remove all of the production value. All of the Roaches are just sitting on the screen. GG! Wow. Oh, Ender takes Ender it decisive. Ender with the clutch hold. Take, yeah, decisive to work. A clutch hold on the queens was absolutely brilliant. Very nicely done. Ender takes that series 2-0 against Payne in round 2 there. Alright. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with uh, the next series shortly, I believe. So, yeah.